want to go sideways. You don't want to send it into the sky as Lizzie Wellborn gets eaten up and spat out the front. No, she doesn't. What about the kick from Ollie Signorini? Oh, there's girls going everywhere. Oh, left, right and centre. One gets cleaned up. Oh, Ski goes over the top and smashes one of the competitors as the back markers get one. Will Budd. Will Budd almost comes over the top of Jet Kenny. Even have a look at Danielle McKenzie surf that Sonic. Unbelievable. Oh, no. Girls get thrown off the front there, down, and our cameraman cops it as well. Ben Carberry's underneath one. He's in trouble. Oh, and he goes the roll. It shoots in the air. Have a look at Lani Pallister go. Forget the rest. She is absolutely flying. And it'll double up over the top. Two will miss out. Two will miss out. She's going to have to apply the power. The nose goes under, and she's been flipped off. It's Williams. It's Signorini. But oh, Gemma Smith. She gets the back shot over the top of one of the other competitors. If they can get over this oh, one, he they go goes again. under. So wave after wave, the Coulomb sets are rolling through. Collins goes down the mine. Collins is up. Oh, he's been back shot. That's going to go in the air. Oh, that hits with the force of an absolute freight train. And Shannon Eckstein is on an absolute monster out the back. It's at least 640. Puts the power down, leans back on. Oh, Lizzie Wellborn cops another one. She rides it like a cowboy and then gets flipped off. The young gun's going to get it. They'll celebrate in your minor tonight. He's forged his own path. He's taken his own chances. Brielle Cooper's come out of nowhere. A special specimen, Ali Day, on top in round two. Your champion is the defending champion, Harriet Brown. And Shannon Eckstein is back. She did it the hard way, and she's back where she belongs. Matt Bevelacqua will take out round five of the Nutrigrain Ironman series. Hello and welcome to Ocean 6 and the Nutrigrain Iron Woman and Iron Man series. It's been a long, hot summer and five of the hardest fought rounds of surf sports action we've ever seen and it's all coming down to today. Of course, we'll kick things off today with the Nutrigrain Iron Woman final. The men will follow after that. It's come down to the final race and any number of competitors can take out the overall crown. It's been a long summer and a long road to get here. First event up is the Nutrigrain Iron Woman final and let's take a look at the first five rounds. Never arrived here to board, swim and ski their way to Iron Woman glory. The Young Gun's going to get it. They're celebrating your minor tonight. A big win, the Nutrigrain Iron Woman Series round one to Gemma Smith. She crosses the line for the biggest moment of her career as Lizzie Wellborn cops another one. She rides it like a cowboy and then gets flipped off. Oh, absolutely smashed. That hits with the force of an absolute freight train there. Mercer's off. Is this it? Is this it? Ask and you shall receive our Coulomb Round 2 champion from Karawa is Brielle Cooper. So look at Brown go and Brielle Cooper's come out of nowhere. That is a jag if I've ever seen one. Brielle Cooper's gone up alongside her. She's gone from third to first. Will she lose the sprint up the beach? I don't know. It looks like Brielle Cooper's going to get back-to-back -back wins in the Nutrigrain Iron Woman Series. A star is born. She leans back. She's going to have to apply the power. The nose goes under. She applies the power once again like she did in the first one, and she's gone sideways, and she's been flipped off. Harriet Brown, I don't even think she knows the well-born swimming. She hasn't even looked over to the side. Round four, the Kellogg's Nutrigrain Iron Woman Series. Your champion is the defending champion, Harriet Brown. Oh, there's girls going everywhere. Oh, left, right and centre. One gets cleaned. Oh, Ski goes over the top and smashes one of the competitors in the face. Oh, one of the girls goes down the mine, loses the board out the front. Oh, no. Girls get thrown off the front. They're down and our cameraman cops it as well. She did it the hard way and she's back where she belongs. Courtney Hancock, multiple series winner, multiple Australian champion, multiple cool and got a gold titles and wins another Ocean 6 race. What a summer it's been so far. Courtney Hancock flying back into form in round five to sit third overall, but she can't win the title. It's down to Harriet Brown and Brielle Cooper. Harriet's the defending champion, Jack Brielle. Well, she's the rookie, only her second season in the top flight. And 
It, it's going to take something special for her today, but I think she has a bit of an advantage heading into this final round. Well, Josh, today we'll find a winner of the final round, but we're also trying to crown a winner of the series. And like you said, it's a race in two. Harriet Brown versus Brielle Cooper, the younger. That's it. And if you take a look at the possible scenarios there, Brielle Cooper needs to finish 14th or better to have any chance of taking out the title. Harriet Brown needs to improve on her 10th place. But basically, it comes down to a pretty simple equation. Once they're into the second round of the Eliminated today, if Brielle beats Harriet, she will get the title. But Brielle is looking well. She's looking in good form. And Harriet, she's not going to let that title go. Race one, there'll be 20 athletes on the line. You win and you go straight through to race three. Second place will join them. But the bottom six, they will go out today. So you stay out of the red zone in the bottom six. That is the key. And you can get yourself a straight shot through to race three. The order will be board, ski, swim. As we take a look at the start list, we've got four debutantes here today. Good to see a couple of girls making their debut in the final round. Megan Cross. Jordan White from Warilla Barrick Point. She's the little sister of Hayden White there. And of course, Emily Doyle, the 17 year old or the 16 year old, and Grace Rosado from Northcliffe. The girls are on the line. It's time to crown ourselves a Nutrigrain Iron Woman champion. They are ready, set, off, and almost away. And the judges, well, they're just taking a little bit of time there. Tricky conditions. The starter don't want to send them off. They're set. And they're away, finally, Jack. It took us a little bit longer than we wanted to. Board, ski, swim, 20 athletes in. Only 14 will survive after this one. And off and away, Grace Rosado on the bottom side. The white board with the green tail. She's probably got off to the best of the start in her first ever Nutrigrain Ironwoman race. Well, Josh, she is on the good end because that southerly wind that's blowing through is blowing the girls north. It's blowing them away from the cans and they need to make sure they get through. But if you have a look at the northern end at the moment, they are making very light work of this board star. Well, what about that? Rosado on the right-hand side went from first to last in a matter of moments. She just got clipped by one or two, and that's Georgia Miller there. She's taking the lead. Harriet Brown on the yellow board, tight on her tail. Maddie Dunn is all the way at the back with Electra Outram there. Jordan Mercer sits up and goes over one as well. So our leaders, they've got off to a pretty solid start there. Brown's had no problems at all. Lizzie Wellborn, watch for her today. And early on in this race, Jack, I guess we need some predictions. Who do you like in the Iron Woman final? Well, you can't go past Brielle Cooper and Harriet Brown, Josh, but I think there's going to be another young gun step up, maybe a Gemma Smith or Lizzie Wellborn. They're always thereabouts, always knocking on the door, and I think today will be one of their days. Lizzie Wellborn, expect to see her up the front end with this board first, but at the moment, it's Georgia Miller, and she has been very, very competitive and on fire when it comes to board racing. We'll see her a little bit later on in the day in the first National Real Estate board final. She's got the chance of winning that title there, so so she's really chasing very, very hard. And a couple of the girls out the back already as they make their way out. Of course, the board will be around the smaller black and white cans, the ski, the far pink cans. The swim will be the big Nutrigrain boys there. And very, very tough conditions. And leading round, Georgia Miller, Lizzie Wellborn in second place, Harriet Brown there, Courtney Hancock as well. Great paddles from those girls. Tiani Massey, one of the young guns from Maruchidor, she has had a great paddle. Kirsty Higgison a long way down, as is Grace Rosado but big story for Higgison coming back. She's had injuries the last two seasons after finishing, run, finishing runner-up in, uh, in the series a couple of summers ago. So good to see her back in the top flight competition and good to see her back mixing it with the best girls in the business. As they start to make their way home, it's still Georgia Miller out in front. Lizzie Wellborn and Harriet Brown in matching boards going around. And for Harriet Brown and I guess Brielle Cooper, you just want to stay out of that bottom six. Lana Rogers is there as well. Carly Nerthen's making her way through. It looks like like Emily Doyle, another one of the rookies, has had a good start. But have a look at Brielle Cooper. She is back in third last place, and that is the red zone. If the race was to finish here, she'd be out, but we've got a long, long way to go. But a tough, tough start for our chaser at the moment, Brielle Cooper. Well, four down the front wave, Josh, and one of those is Harriet Brown. So she's extending her gap on Brielle Cooper, and if Brielle Cooper doesn't make it to the second round, the series is wrapped up for Harriet Brown. You're one of the best coaches in the business. Tell us the thought process behind here. 
here. Obviously, they're trying to get those top two spots and skip straight through, but do you save a little bit of energy if you know you can't get there late in the race, or is it all guns blazing from the go? Well, look, you need to set your race up from the beginning, so this board start is all important, and have a look at the difference it's made. There's probably 80 metres now between first and last place. Maddie Dunn's just trying to pull down one out the back. She's done a good job to get back from where she was because she was a fair way down. We head through the first transition. Georgia Miller is there. Lana Rogers is there. Lizzie Wellborn's there. And Harriet Brown's there. She's been battling an ankle injury the last couple of rounds, but it doesn't seem to be showing up. She's got it strapped at the moment, but she ran very freely through that transition there, which is very good. Gemma Smith, she's our round one winner and a real star of the future. She'll come round in five. Emily Doyle's there. Electra Outram, Jordan Mercer, Carly Nervin. She'll make her way through. Kirsty Higgison there. Rebecca Creedy. Courtney Hancock, Naomi Scott, Maddie Dunn, Jordan White, Daniel McKenzie, and where is Brielle Cooper? This could be all over Red Rover before we know it. There's Brielle there. You can see the urgency in her run. She knows that if she goes out in this race, there is no possible chance she can win the series. She's got a lot of work to do. If she's going to keep her series chances alive, Josh, and is the pressure getting to the young gun, or will she stand up now and take what could be hers? Do you know what's incredible? It is dead set only her eighth race in the top flight competition, her second season, and she's just just been belted again. The ski goes sideways right in on the shore. You look through the handlers there. That's Cooper on the green, white and blue and already so much drama. There's a lot of girls in front of her, a lot of good ski paddlers, but you would have thought the board would be one of her stronger legs and to come out towards the tail of the field, it, it, it just, well, it shows how tough this form of racing is and this level of racing is. The girls out the back get belted and I think Harriet Brown sneaks out. So the defending champ's doing a great job. She's on the far right hand side of the screen, has had no problems at all and she's showing why she won the title on this beach in similar conditions 12 months ago. Real Cooper needs to limit the damage that happens now in the ski race. If she can make her way up, she needs to ensure she's top 14. If she's top 14, at least she gets a shot and a race in race two. But if she's not there, if she's in the red zone, it's all over in a Tarriot Brown. And look at her leading the way out in front. That is the gap we've got at the moment. A six to 700 metre ski paddle is what the girls are currently going through. And Brial Cooper is still back, stuck oh, in the wave zone, again. and now in about 18th oh, spot. One of the girls, she's off the ski and rolling. One of them's rolling. Maybe Outram from Noosa there. She's just out of shot at the moment as we zoom in on Brielle Cooper, doing her best to get back into this one with a couple of the other qualifiers there. Jordan White in the uh, grey, orange and white cap of Warilla Barrick Point, a very, very strong club. The likes of Ali Day, Hayden White, Benny Carberry, they've all come from that club down there. Very strong and good to see another one coming through the ranks. But Harriet Brown, as the weather starts to come in, I reckon that wind's picked up maybe five or ten kilometres an hour in the last half an hour. So unbelievable from Harriet Brown. She makes her way along the back. Lizzie Wellborn, she is in second place. Georgia Miller's still there. A couple of great young guns just behind there. Lizzie Wellborn doing a good job job to hold on, but Harriet Brown, our defending champion, is absolutely on fire. Well, Harriet Brown is leading the way, Josh. We see the chop hitting her ski, and she'll make sure she takes a wide berth around each can. That'll give her plenty of room, and as she heads back to the beach, she'll get a lift out of these little runners, this southerly swell that's rolling through, and we see Harriet Brown lift the rating. She goes down this little one now. That extends the gap further on our chases. Lizzie Wellborn flies down one. Gemma Smith's there. Georgia Miller, Lana Rogers around the outside, Rebecca Creedy, Carly Nervin, Kirsty Higgison, Danielle McKenzie, Jordan Mercer, Tiani Massey's there as well. Maddie Dunn starts to work her way around. So does Courtney Hancock and Naomi Scott, and that is almost all she wrote as they come around that can at the halfway mark of race one of the Eliminator. We want, You can't win it in race one, Jack, but you can definitely lose it as our leaders all. Lizzie Wellborn gets a bit wobbly on the left-hand side there. Harriet Brown, no mistakes at all. Out the back, they start to push to towards home and very, very tough for Brielle Cooper. Brielle Cooper is a long, long way down all the way out the back with Grace Rosado there and Megan Kreuter as well. Jordan White, so she might be sitting in fourth last place as the leaders are hitting the beach and almost guaranteeing themselves a spot in the next round. Well, 17th place is Brielle Cooper. First place is this girl, Harriet Brown, and she is on fire. She's not going to die wondering. She's going to make sure she secures herself a spot in this final round. And if she 
she can stay where she is right now, that puts her straight through to race three. She took a giant look over her shoulder there. She knew how far back she was. Gemma Smith's in second place from Umana. Lizzie Wellborn, she's from North Bondi in third. Lana Rogers comes around in fourth place. Georgia Miller, she had a win here last season. She's in fifth, sixth place is Carly Nervin as she makes her way through at the Corumbin Club, formerly of Terrigal. So that is our top six as we go around. Danielle McKenzie in seventh, Rebecca Creedy in eighth, Kirsty Higgison will charge through the transition in ninth. That was her best leg. Jordan Mercer's in tenth place. Maddie Dunn, she will go round in eleventh now. This is where things start to get serious. Courtney Hancock's in twelfth, thirteenth, Tiani Massey, and that is fourteenth. So Brielle Cooper is outside the top fourteen at the moment. She will come round. Naomi Scott there as well. So she is in fifteenth, sixteenth place as she makes her way through. Sixteenth place. She needs to pass two, but she's in a lot of trouble. I can tell you what, Josh, not only are the girls in front of her got a slight lead, but there are also some very strong swimmers with Naomi Scott in 15th place. Expect her to swim back through the field. That means Brielle Cooper is going to have to go past more than one or two just to make sure she's in the top 14. Electra out from Jordan White and Grace Rosado there in the tail end there, thick in the red zone. Rosado goes down to the right. She sees the little rip at the moment. It's a great move, whereas Mercer and Outram just dove straight into that surf. You can see Rosado at the bottom hand, on the bottom right hand side of your screen there, pushing very, very hard. And Jack, using the rip in a swim like this is so important. But what's even more key is you don't swim back into it on the way home. Well, that's going to be critical, Josh. And we'll see whether or not it's going to help Grace Rosado. But at this stage, she is a long way back and got a lot of work to do to pick up the position she needs to to go through to race two. You can see that open section there. There's not as many waves breaking. All the girls are swimming into it. That's the rip. That's in the center of the arena. So on the way out, it's easy to jump into. But on the way back, you can get a little disoriented, maybe chase a wave or two into the start of that rip and then get caught up going backwards on the way home. But our leaders are out the back at the moment and they're into green water and pushing towards those cans while Brielle Cooper is at the back of the field racing with Megan Kreuter, with, uh, with Jordan White, I almost said Hayden White there, with Jordan White and with Naomi Scott trying to stay alive in this series. It's unbelievable that we've already got this dramatic scene so early on in the Eliminator format. Well, it looks as though Scott has put a body length or two into Cooper once they've started swimming. So she's in a lot of trouble now, unless they can pick up that pack in front, which is, of course, a possibility. But the swim is the shortest leg, Josh, only heading round the two red Nutri-Grain cans we see out the back. And Harriet Brown now makes her way across the back of the can. The three legs were measured out this morning. The swim about three and a half minutes, the board three minutes, the ski three minutes as well. So the swimmers have a slight advantage, but it's also very, very tough. A couple of the back markers can get waves in conditions like this. And if Harriet Brown can get through and Brielle Cooper misses out, there is no doubt about it. She will be the champion and she will deserve it because it, because it has been a consummate performance by the defending champion so far. But it's not over yet. Well, we can't pick up Brielle Cooper coming around the cans yet. She's that looks like yet. Naomi Scott. Naomi Scott is around. In front of Naomi Scott is Emily Doyle, the young gun, who is a very good swimmer from Newport. So very hard to pull back any of these swimmers as Brielle Cooper goes around. And Megan Kreuter is swimming away from Brielle Cooper. Megan Kreuter is one of the better swimmers in the field as well. We've seen her throughout the Ocean 6 in the run, swim, run. And she's at the top end of that point score there. So she might be able to drag Brielle back up into this one. As we go back to our leaders and there's waves on, waves. Waves on, waves on, and, and Harriet Brown just falls off the back. A couple got a big push through at the moment. Looks like Lizzie Wellborn will get down one. Maybe one of the girls from Noosa. I don't know whether it... No, it's Carly Nervin on the far left-hand side. She's picked that one up. Gemma Smith did as well. So maybe it's not as certain for Harriet Brown as they've just come up alongside her, and there is two, four, six in a line. They're basically drag racing for home, and it's going to come down to luck. But it's not the front of the race that we're worried about, Jack. It's the back half of the race. Brielle Cooper is as in the red zone as you could possibly be. Scott picks up a wave on the right-hand side. A couple more will get a push out of it. One of the Noosa caps. There's a wave on out the back. There's a wave on out the back. I don't know who's on it at the moment. Is it Brielle Cooper? It is Brielle Cooper. She's picked up a wave. She's gone past five. She's gone past six. Unbelievable stuff. She surfed her way out of the red zone, back into contention and possibly towards a new Chagrin Iron Woman title. And it can be so cruel at the start. And here we go. The race is on. 
on up the beach. Lizzie Wellborn stands up. Georgia Miller stands up. Those two will go through to the final race. And after Harriet Brown did everything right, she was robbed in the final stages there. Wellborn's through to two, race three. Georgia Miller's through to race three. And we start to do the maths for the overall title. The bottom six will be out of the competition here. Top 14 will go through. Gemma Smith in third place. Lana Rogers there as well. Harriet Brown did everything right in fifth. You've got to feel sorry for her there. Carly Nerven, she will roll around in sixth place at the moment as they cross the line. Harriet Brown must be thinking what could have been. Well, Harriet Brown unfortunately didn't secure herself a spot in the final round as Jordan Mercer comes across the line, Josh. She's Here we in go. Seventh Here place. we go. The sprint up the beach. There's four there. That's your top ten. I think Danielle McKenzie there in the Northcliffe cap is in 11th. So we've got four across the line. That's 10, 11, 12 across the line. The sprint's on. The girls will go up the beach. Oh, I don't know there. I don't know whether I think Brielle Cooper has gone out of the red zone. I think she's finished in 15th place there, Jack. Rebecca Cree Reedy got up ahead of her. Emily Doyle got there. Courtney Hancock got there. Maddie Dunn got there as well. And by the looks of Brielle Cooper, she thinks she's gone. Yeah, down the beach with, uh, you know, very disappointed and uh, unfortunately eliminated here, Brielle, but very tough conditions out there today. Yeah, definitely. It's really tricky out there. There's waves coming from every direction. If you're a centimetre off the mark, then you're getting made silly little mistakes. And, you know, I think I missed out by one, which is such a shame. Yeah, unfortunately, you do miss out by one, but on behalf of everyone here, you've had an awesome summer. You've had two wins. You've been really consistent. You're a youngster. Commiserations, but all the best for future years. Thank you so much, guys. There's a few tired faces down there. What as a coach do you tell your athletes before they head into race two? Well, Josh, you need to make sure that they relax. And the girls are on the start line now. So as we can see, very little recovery time. Brielle Cooper on the on the next race has been eliminated. Emily Doyle out as well. So I think she thought she was in, but uh, Doyle might be gone at the moment. Unbelievable from her. We take a look over the page. Tiani Massey did everything right and just got a little bit unlucky there by a couple of waves. She'll be back. She's another one who's only 16 years of age. Electra Outram, another 16-year-old there. Grace Rosado goes home. And the girl they call Nug, Jordan White, will